Mr. Peters, thank you for being with us and taking our questions. So, here in Georgia is on air uh, already. What are your first impressions and where do you still see challenges maybe? My first impression is that I'm first of all thankful uh, for the work that has been done uh, by the teams uh, of um, George, my, my partner George and uh, Yano, the managing director, who did an incredible uh, work and job. Uh, uh, so everyone is always doing an incredible job, but you know, in setting up a TV channel uh, in a full uh, period of uh, this pandemic crisis and with COVID is just a miracle. Um, and my second impression is uh, we were not wrong. Uh, whether it's good or not, you know, I'm not here to say and, uh, and uh, everyone will be able to judge, but uh, what is sure is that uh, we are doing what we said we would do. And uh, today, the Euronews Georgia that I watch with such a pleasure uh, is the one uh, I imagined the, the, is the one corresponding to our values uh, uh, about uh, independence, about balance, about uh, being quiet, about uh, to explain everything. And so uh, Euronews Georgia is Euronews. Before taking this decision, uh of expanding uh, to, to, to Georgia. Uh, probably you did the thorough assessment of uh, the uh, competition uh, market here. What do you see this, so to say, appealing point uh, uh, for well, Euronews yes, Georgia? Here we, we understood clearly that uh, the market today is uh, very polarized and uh, uh, that uh, a lot of uh, medias are uh, whether pro or against and uh, th there is a big polarization in, in, uh, in media like in a lot a lot of markets uh, in the in the in the in the region and, and in the in the, in Europe by the way uh, so uh, uh, that's why it was so interesting for us to come here uh, again we are not saying that our position is better or, 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 or worse than anyone else we respect every position of everyone uh, but what is sure is that we have a clear unique selling point which is our independence and which is that when you will consume our brands you will be able to hear uh, and make your own judgment. So about that's what all news, all views mean? Absolutely. How can you make your opinion if uh, we have already won? How can you uh, uh, grow with yourself and how can you make yourself uh, your own judgment if we as a media, we already give you something where we already have our opinion? It's not our job. The role of a media is not to give uh, uh, perspectives or opinions to the, to the viewers. The role of the media is to give the reality as it is and to help the viewer uh, to make his own opinion. This is my belief, this is the belief of all my colleagues in Euronews and uh, very happily this is the belief of our partners uh, here in Euronews Georgia. Yeah, but, but you also mentioned that also in Europe this belief is, is kind of changing still. In a lot of countries, but I think that's uh, uh, it doesn't happen too much in, uh, in, uh, in uh, West Europe. Polarization is still very um, uh, uh, existing uh, in a lot of uh, Central Europe and, uh, and East Europe. And actually, uh, the biggest country when there is polarization is the United States of America. Uh, so you see, it's not a question of uh, good or bad. It's just that there are some countries uh, mm -hmm. where it mm -hmm. is and some others not. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so to take um, one thing, what uh, uh, um, uh, drove your uh, determination, the decision to, to come to Georgia and to broadcast from Georgia? But you know it very well. We are, we are very specific industry. We are not selling uh, glasses or, or water. You know, we, uh, we sell soft power uh, to people and uh, we know that we have this soft power. So making such an operation in a country, you need to have a hundred percent trust in your partner. It's more than just a signature on a contract. And I think that's uh, uh, what made this uh, 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 adventure, you know, begin so, so rapidly is because of this huge, immense trust that I have in George Ramishvili, who is the greatest partner I could have dreamed ever, and who share the vision of Euronews News like crazy. So this is the first thing. The second thing is, of course, the fact that uh, uh, your country, inside such an important region in the world, is so interesting for us. And, uh, and uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, we at Euronews, uh, uh, we need, we don't know very, very well your country, your region in Europe, you know, and uh, this will help us too, you know, to, to, to get a much better knowledge about uh, what's happened here. Uh, and the third element is, as you said, uh, the, the existing market where it was very clear for us that whether it will be good or bad, I don't know, but for sure, 
we had a unique positioning that was not existing in the market. So on a pure marketing point of view, it was very interesting for us to come here with our unique, unique selling points. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't mention it, but uh, when I was researching for this interview, um, I know that Euronews also has this overall strategy, which is very uh, interesting to me, which is uh, global, so to say, uh, global and, uh, and local, but at the same time, global. How does Georgia fit into, into this yes. overall strategy? And yes, you're absolutely right. Well, I think that's the right balance uh, for international media is to be global, is to still have a global mind and to give uh, global uh, information and news about the world. But in the meantime, to adapt what you are doing to a local audience and to make content that makes sense to a local audience. And so that's, what, that's exactly what is, is happening here with your news Georgia, is that in your news Georgia, you will find international news and local news, but the international news that, that you will find have been selected by a Georgia newsroom. So if they select this news, it's because they think that these international news will have a sense for a local, like national, Georgian audience for sure. So indeed, Georgia is playing a lot. We are opening a lot of franchises. Um, uh, this is the new strategy. We opened uh, the first one uh, end of last year in Albania. And uh, I have to say that Georgia is our second franchise, um, uh, which is, by the way, uh, uh, something very interesting for you to know. Uh, we, we signed two franchises in the same time uh, uh, last year. Uh, one in Serbia, big country, and one in Georgia. Uh, uh, and the one in Georgia has been signed one month after Serbia. Uh, today, Georgia is launched, done. Serbia has even not started to, you know, because of COVID, because of all the things. So uh, it's extremely impressive uh, how uh, efficient uh, uh, the SilkNet, uh, uh, our partner, has been, have, have worked. It's totally crazy. So yes, Georgia is fully part uh, of this uh, global strategy. Even more, now it's a window shop for us because I'm speaking with a lot of countries um, uh, to open franchises. And now I show as an example, an Georgia. Example. So this is a way very interesting for Georgia because Georgia is now put it at the heart. You know, today on Euronews World, in all the world, we have 150 million people, you know, watching us. Um, uh, 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 in all the world, we made a, a, a subject on Euronews Georgia, and Euronews Georgia was at the heart of our agenda uh, today on Euronews World. So it's very good for the country too, I think. Wonderful. Um, I'm uh, representing business media here. We're focusing mainly on business and economy news. What is your um, take? Is media a business? Media is a... So... If the question is media a business, the answer is yes. If the question is, is media a, 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 a money-making business, the answer is not sure. <laughs> okay, thank you. Where do you see Euronews uh, Georgia in, in coming couple of years, for example? Euronews Georgia will be, uh, um, will be um, a referent uh, media, for sure, uh, in, uh, in Georgia. Uh, uh, will be a media uh, that uh, people will trust, um, uh, will be a media that uh, uh, will make the agenda, uh, uh, will be a media that, uh, um, that yes, Georgian will uh, uh, consult, uh, 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 probably in complement of uh, their existing media. You know, it's very difficult uh, when, you are, uh, when you have a habit, you know, and I, I think that in this country, like in many countries, a lot of people have habits, you know, to watch news. They, they, there is a way to watch news. There is a way to present news here. And uh, uh, I think that's uh, what is very good. That's why it's so important for news to be different from the others, because your news will play uh, a role as a complementary channel. And then people will maybe continue on the first time to continue to watch their news and then to, to, go, to, to go to your news. Uh, uh, and then maybe with the time, um, uh, 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 they will go only to your news. It's what we hope. Uh, what we can say now is uh, 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 after one week, uh, uh, when you see that we are uh, uh, increasing our audience share by 300% per day, 300% per day, and that after one week of broadcasting, we are already ahead of 10 uh, news TV, no, excuse me, not news, uh, television channels in Georgia, uh, I think it's a very good beginning to say that uh, uh, the, the future is promising. So I just uh, hope that uh, what is happening now will be the, the the trend uh, of uh, what will uh, happen. But let's meet again in one year. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, because again, you know, I can speak. I can talk. I can say anything I want. What is incredible with our job, like yours, like mine, is that at the end of the day, people go, people watch, people judge, yes. and they decide. So That's let's people, true. let's Georgian decide about your new Georgia. True. Thank you for taking our questions. Didi Madlova. <laughs>